On the morning of February 25, 1994, hundreds of Palestinian Muslims were praying at the Ibrahimi Mosque. An American-born Israeli settler entered the mosque, waited for worshippers to kneel down in prayer, and then started shooting. Baruch Goldstein killed 29 people and injured more than 120. One witness described how there were bodies and blood everywhere. I think that uh, his act brought a lot of uh, security to the Jewish uh, people here in Hebron. Goldstein's grave is often visited by supporters and his tombstone reads, he gave his life for the people of Israel, its Torah and land. Under the pretext of securing the settlers who lived in the old city and preventing more violence, the Israeli army imposed a two-week curfew on all of Hebron's Palestinians. It made the area around the Ibrahimi Mosque permanently off limits to everyone except settlers and foreign tourists. The old city is now cut off from the rest of Hebron by... This was the controllers trying to utilize leftover technology after the last reset and nearly perfecting levitation technology. This is no jet engine that's in this thing, aptly referred to as the flying trash can. Yet it makes you wonder, if bits and pieces of this is allowed to be mainstream. I wonder what they truly have hidden. But the old world had this technology for a long time. Just look at the flying Vimana airships of India. Question everything.